Welcome, welcome. We are so glad to have you here with Jazz Arts Project for our very first live stream concert experience. Oh, we've got something special in store for you today. So thank you for joining us. And as you know, we are celebrating April, which is Jazz Appreciation Month. As uh, Jazz Appreciation Month uh, was uh, developed by the Smithsonian Institute, and it was officially initiated by Congress in 2003. So this is a international celebration of jazz music, which was born right here in America. And of course, Jazz Arts Project has been one of the uh, organizations to present this great, wonderful music. As some of you may know, we have done uh, events uh, such as Summer Jazz Cafe, Jazz in the Park, and of course, the Sinatra Bash. But today, we are breaking new ground with our first live stream ever concert experience. And of course, we've got a wonderful, wonderful, amazing guest, the incredible Don Braden, who's gonna be joining us with vocalist uh, Dr. Trinice Robinson. So we're gonna give you a little bit of background about Don Braden in a very special short film. So please take a look. Our guest today, Don Braden and I, share a belief that jazz music reflects, embraces, and teaches so many aspects of life, our history as a country and a culture. Creativity, discipline, teamwork, leadership, listening skills, supportiveness, improvisation, and the ideals of democracy. With that concept, he brings a wealth of experience and knowledge as a world-class musician, a saxophonist, flutist and composer to students in prestigious music schools on at least two continents. Don runs the jazz program and ensembles at Harvard University and is an instructor at the Prins Klaus Conservatory in the Netherlands. He has been the music director of the Litchfield Jazz Camp since 1998 and ran programs at NJ Pack Jazz for Teens and at Montclair State University. Don has toured the world with jazz greats Betty Carter, Wynton Marsalis, Tony Williams, Freddie Hubbard, Roy Haynes, and many others. We've been fortunate to have hosted him at some of our Summer Jazz Cafe series in the past. Don has played on over a hundred CDs as a sideman and has produced 22 as leader, his most recent being Earth, Wind and Wonder and In the Spirit of Herbie Hancock. As a composer, Don has more than 150 pieces for ensembles of varying sizes from duos to full symphony orchestra. His compositions appear on dozens of CDs, several major TV shows and indie films. He has numerous prestigious awards, commissions, and published articles to his name, and continues a busy career of touring, performing, composing, and teaching. Folks, please welcome Don Braden. Hey. 
All right. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Thanks so much, Jazz Arts Project and Joe Muccioli and the crew and uh, the incredible band. I'm really honored to be here. It's great to do a gig. <laughs> it's just beyond exciting, man. So um, anyway, we're honored to be here and present for you, present to you on this uh, Sunday. I'm going to introduce you to the band members quick, and then we're going to play some more music. On the piano, Mr. Art Hirahara. Woo on the bass, Mr. Kenny Davis. On the drums, Mr. Jeremy Warren. You know me, I'm Don Braden. We have our awesome vocalist coming up a little bit later. She's fantastic, I'll tell you about her later. Uh, we just played the Good Trouble Blues, which I wrote in tribute to the wonderful and uh, um, hero, basically, one of our great heroes, uh, Mr. John Lewis, who passed away recently. Um, and we're gonna play mostly today's stuff from my latest CD. Uh, let's say most recent. There's actually, the latest one is a different one. <laughs> but the one before the latest one, at, at least, is called uh, Earth, Wind, and Wonder. So we're going to play Earth, Wind, and Wonder stuff for you today. We might play something from our new one, which is called uh, Tribute to Herbie Hancock, uh, In the Spirit of Herbie Hancock. It's my latest one, but that's not this band. This band is Earth, Wind, and Wonder band, so we're going to play that stuff today. And um, so in that uh, spirit, we're going to move on and play a Stevie Wonder tune. This is called Don't You Worry About a Thing, Stevie Wonder. Don't you 
Thank you very much. Don't you worry about a thing from the Earth, Wind, and Wonder repertoire. The nonprofit Jazz Arts Project has been presenting world class concerts and events since 2006. In the previous 16 years, we have presented hundreds of events, including large-scale gala concerts at the Count Basie Theater, the Summer Jazz Cafe Series, and the Enchanted Evening of Song at Two River Theater, the Jazz in the Park Concert Series in Riverside Gardens Park, and the Talking Jazz Lecture Series, which for the past year has morphed into our curated Zoom discussions we call Mondays with Mooch. Over the years, the organization has hosted an impressive roster of award-winning world-class international jazz artists to audiences hailing from all over the tri-state area. What you may not know is that proceeds raised from all of these performances enable us to fulfill our larger mission providing transformative educational programs for area youth. The year-round Jazz Arts Academy program for more advanced students and our unique Head Start style summer music camps for middle schoolers serve hundreds of at-risk and underserved families. The remarkable results of these programs prove the impact that the study of music can have on their lives and in their communities. Please help us fulfill our mission by becoming a supporting member with your donation today. Visit www.jazzartsproject.org slash give. Let's give these guys a big round of applause. This is the future of this music, and these guys will be in this band before you know it. So you just got to learn a little bit about our great organization here, the Jazz Arts Project. We are very happy to be able to bring these high class performances to you. And as you have known, we've done them uh, in person uh, with uh, Summer Jazz Cafe and Jazz in the Park. Uh, today is our premiere of doing virtual events. And of course, during this challenging time of COVID, uh, we've had the opportunity to be with you at home. And this is our first live concert to pre present to you at home. So please give us your feedback, you know, any comments you can give us about this event. Uh, we want to do more. Uh, and as you know, it takes a, a little bit of resources to do this. So on your screen, you should be able to see at the bottom uh, where it says jazzartsproject.org slash give. So please feel free to give a donation. We appreciate uh, your support. Any dollar uh, is uh, helpful. No dollar is too small. That is my big motto. It always helps. So we're glad to do this for you today. And of course, we're happy to have Don Braden here with us and his wonderful quartet. Uh, so we are celebrating Jazz Appreciation Month. And so I'm going to ask Don, why is uh, Jazz Appreciation Month important to you? And what brings you out here today? Um, well, first off, I'd like to acknowledge, thank you, Carmen, and thanks to the Jazz Arts Project one more time. Uh, the, the gentleman, the executive director, I guess, the boss at Jazz Arts Project is very serious about making sure that, that jazz is uh, presented well. Uh, and all he does a lot, this organization does a lot of teaching, they do a lot of work with young people. And I'm very proud to be, uh, have done some projects in the past and very glad to be part of it. Now with regards to um, Jazz Appreciation Month, um, jazz is American in every way. And so for America to acknowledge the music in a, a specific way is in really a collection of ways because the whole month has all kinds of events. So the jazz radio stations do events, your organization does stuff. We musicians do various things. There's International Jazz on April 30th where the whole world celebrates. Um, the music represents so many um, human ideals, which are also, many of them happen to be American ideals, uh, the biggest of which is democracy. I mean, this is a perfect example of a democracy where you have uh, individual voices that work together to, to express as a whole, but the individual voices have a lot, of, a lot of say, a lot of power. And we constantly seek to listen to each other and balance. And that's what democracy seeks to be. 
and what we what it has been uh, in many cases. So, jazz is is very important for that. Um, also, as a, as a profound um, gift uh, from its African American creators, um, the people who created this music, uh, its its function early on was 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 a little more. Um, basic. It was communication and expression. And it turned into this huge world of, of discipline, leadership, all these, uh, there's a whole education scene that goes with it. Um, I, I, I personally am just inspired to be uh, participating as a jazz player with, uh, in, in the legacy of so many incredible Charlie Parker, you know, players like Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, so many people who are creative, brilliant, um, visionary, um, and it sounds great. It's fun. You know, there's so many elements that are just really special about jazz. So uh, to have a, a kind of a documented moment to uh, that's acknowledged by Congress, no less. Thank yes. you very much, Congress. Yes. I appreciate that. 2003. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You know, um, that uh, signifies and, and amplifies and gives us an opportunity to really uh, just share a little piece. Because jazz is 100 and change, you know, 110, 115 years old, give or take us all these incredible things that have happened. And I would just like to take this moment to say, hey, folks, I'm glad you're here checking us out. But there's a lot more also to check out. So do avail yourselves of the incredible, uh, number one, the tons of living, great living jazz players of all ages. You know, the masters, catch Roy Haynes, if you can, Ron Carter, those guys, the, the, the real, our, our masters. But then check the young guys out, too, because they're doing incredible stuff. So I'm very proud of them. And I'm a teacher for many, many years, as, as, as are many of these guys. And we're very proud of what the young folks are doing as well. And I'm very pleased to be part of it. And That's appreciation. Can you let them know where you teach at? And also your vocalist teaches uh, as well. And you guys teach at some wonderful, prestigious yeah, institutions. Yeah, well, we all, all the cats do. You know, we've all done things. I, um, I, t I run a summer jazz camp called the Litchfield Jazz Camp, which runs every summer. I run the Texas Jazz and Blues Camp as well. Uh, and I also teach at Harvard University. I run the, uh, the uh, Harvard Jazz Combo Initiative, which is part of the Thomas G. Everett, Thomas G. Everett Jazz Innovation Fund, a very special um, uh, kind of uh, organization, shall we say, that, that again, promotes jazz within Harvard and the, and the Harvard community. My uh, great friend and vocalist, Trinise Robinson, teaches at Princeton. And you know, she's, she's very serious, got a PhD, she's written a couple books, she's very, got a new album coming out, I'll talk about that in a little bit, it's called All or Nothing, so there's lots to share about what we do. Uh, uh, Kenny teaches at Rutgers, among other places, I assume. Jeremy teaches in Newark somewhere, I think, East Orange somewhere, what's that? Plainfield. Plainfield, New Jersey, has been a dedicated educator for a long time, like serious, man. He's teaching, he's working with little guys, and it's, that's just the most, most important. I'm loving the, I, I love that work, man. It's just, it's just the best. And Art teaches at Art University. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> probably, and then sometimes at jazz camps. At jazz camps as well. So, uh, yeah, we all do teaching. And it's, it's, it's a, you know, jazz has always been taught. Jazz is about, before jazz education existed as a form, Guess how the music disseminated? Through cats teaching each other. Oh. Jazz by its very nature is an educational model. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, it, well, like, like the Navy Seals say, it's a follow me kind of thing, master apprentice kind of scenario. The two word definition of leadership is what the Seals say, right? So, so that's, that's part of it, you know, but the other part of course is just all the discussion of the details that's happened for decades. John Lewis, mm -hmm. Lynn Tristano, all these cats before, well before school, not to mention the great Jane Mabersold and people who actually got, you know, who shared information with countless students and this organization. Thank you again to Joe and, and the crew here. Well, thank you so much. Um, and uh, he mentioned our great leader and just want to give a shout out to Joe Muccioli who has spent uh, a lot of sweat and uh, time putting this together for us. So we're going to move on uh, and we're going to come back with some more music, but we're going to hear a little bit more about, um, actually we got a next song coming up. So yeah, you do. guys are going to perform. So let me give yeah. it, turn it over to you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me introduce our incredible vocalist. I, I already told you about what she does. Her new album, All or Nothing, drops August 5th. Um, this, the, this tune we're going to play now is a single. The first single already came out last Sunday on Easter, or right before Easter, called Come Sunday with the great Cyrus Chestnut duo. And then the, the uh, ensemble version of What's Going On will drop on May the 7th. Right. So we're going to play that now for you live. Here's What's Going On by the great Marvin Gaye. Very appropriate for these crazy times that we're in. So here's what's going on.
the mother there's too many of you crying brother 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 there's far too many of you dying you know we gotta find a way to bring some love in here today hey. We don't need delay. You see, war is not the answer. For only love can conquer hate. You know we gotta find a way to bring some love in here today. We got picket lines, picket signs. Don't punish me with brutality. Come on and talk to me so you can see. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Woo!
I love music. I love listening to it. I love making music. And I hope one day I can actually make music on my own and share it to the world. I just think that music is something that you can love. So that's the beauty of live uh, video, you know? We're, we're working it out here, so it's great. Uh, that version of what's going on was amazing, awesome. Uh, and the line, um, can you say that line for me again? How do you say it? The hoodies, how do you say that? Oh, who are they to judge us? Yes. Just because we have our hoodies on. Just you know, because, bring it to the times. yes, bring it to the times, bring it to the times. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Uh, you just saw a short video about Jazz Arts Project and our middle, and our, and our middle school summer camp, which we do, uh, which is offered free every summer. We did it virtual last Last year and we may be doing it again virtual this year but it, it happens every year and uh, what we're going to show you next is uh, a little bit about our program Jazz Arts Academy which works with our high school students and we happen to have one of our high school graduates uh, from the Jazz Arts Academy in the audience uh, Mr. Ben Fugley who is also uh, a board member now so we're getting the young people involved in jazz so uh, take it away and let's see a little bit of video about Chloe uh, she's uh, going to be performing with uh, one of our Jazz Arts instructor Brandon McCune information about the programs that your uh, money supports when you give to Jazz Arts Project. And again, you can look at the bottom of the screen, jazzartsproject.org slash give. I want to give uh, a few uh, thank yous uh, to uh, some supporters that have supported us today. I'm going to have to take my glasses up so I can read. <laughs> I want to give a, a thank you to John, Gloria, Helen, Loretta, Naomi, and Ann. Thank you so much for uh, contributing today. And of course, to all the people who have been supporting us uh, for a long time, uh, thank you for supporting us. So we're gonna get back to the music. I'm turning it over to uh, Don, and the doctor is in the house, and they're gonna be singing one of my favorite tunes, so I'm excited. Enjoy. Hey, folks, I love the doctor. We're gonna, that's our next, you know, I, I, I produced uh, her album, uh, All or Nothing. I'm very proud that we worked, uh, you know, uh, together on that. And the next one, we just thought of a title. Uh, <laughs> that might be it. The doctor's <laughs> in the house. Love it. Thank you, Carmen. Appreciate that. We give you credit. 
A um, couple things. While we're doing shout outs, um, first of all, I want to thank you again, the organization. Thank you to the band members. They're awesome. We have more music, but I want to just get it done now while, I, um, while I'm thinking about it. I don't want to forget anybody. Uh, a couple birthdays. Happy birthday to my cousin Johnny. Uh, Johnny Stones has a birthday today. So I, you might be watching, but I know family members are watching. So much love to you, Johnny. Also to Dennis, a friend of ours, has a birthday today. So happy birthday, Dennis. Thank you to Antigua Saxophones for providing me with incredible saxophones. So that's Antigua, R.S. Berkeley for the flute. Thank you, R.S. Berkeley. Uh, Jody Jazz for the mouthpiece. Ignore the tape. That's why I put it on this so I can find it. That's the mouthpiece. That's beautiful. A little ad. Okay. Anyway, that's enough for thank yous for me. I think we're going to go on and move on with music. Uh, we're going to play something. Gonna play something else from Earth, Wind, and Wonder. This is um, a, a tune made famous by the great Michael Jackson, but written by Stevie Wonder and Suze Green. It's from the Earth, Wind, and Wonder CD. This is called I Can't Help It. And uh, we're gonna feature Sneeze. We're gonna have Art play out front. And here we go with I Can't Help It. I'm so glad I found you, boy. 
Mr. Michael Jackson, of course, written by Stevie Wonder. I can't help it. That was a lovely, lovely, uh, lovely version. I'm excited. I, I'm still singing in my head right now. 
I'm a little distracted. <laughs> this is great. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Let's um, hopefully, uh, I should let you know also in our Zoom room, we've got some guests on Zoom. They are giving you all thunderous applause, just thunderous. so you know. Yes, the Zoom thunderous room, thunderous applause. applause. <laughs> and hopefully on Facebook and on YouTube, you're doing that as well. Um, as you know, we've been talking about, uh, we had to make some changes due to COVID. And one of the changes that we made last year, uh, Joe started producing a new show called Mondays with Mooch. Mondays with Mooch uh, happens every other Monday. Our next one is going to be April 19th. We're going to have a uh, bassist and vocalist Nikki Parrott Ooh. will be on. Uh, you know her. She's great. All right. And from Australia, coming all the way from Australia to be with us. No. <laughs> and uh, so she's going to be on a April 19th. So you can uh, register, go to our website, uh, jazzproject.org, and you can, uh, jazzartsproject.org, and you can register uh, to be a part of that. Uh, Nikki Parrott. Thank you so much, Nikki Parrott. Thank you. And uh, what we're going to do, uh, Mondays with Mooch, I've been kind of a co-host with uh, Mondays with Mooch, and Jacqueline, who's in our Zoom room, has been working with us as well. So we've got a strong team together, and we're going to show you a little bit of video about Mondays with Mooch, so uh, check it out. Come on, let's clap. Come on, let's clap. Yeah, let's clap. Uh, anybody remember this? Right. I know, it's not Monday, but... This was our attempt at a uh, theme song for Mondays with Mooch. Are you ready now? Are we ready? Because it's Monday. It's Monday. Jazz Arts Project debuted Mondays with Mooch early in the pandemic last year as a way to help artists students and supporting members stay connected. What we created in the process was a virtual panoply of engaging events, a backstage pass, as it were, into the lives and music of so many jazz artists and influencers paired with a learning environment for jazz enthusiasts and students globally. In 2020 alone, we produced 32 Mondays with Mooch episodes, featuring more than 45 distinguished jazz artists and respected authorities. Each week, our virtual audience grew beyond what we could imagine. Attendees were zooming in from far beyond our normal stomping grounds here in Red Bank, New Jersey, from faraway places such as California, Texas, Canada, Germany, and even Sweden, to name a few. Thank you for supporting this program and keeping the spirit of jazz alive during these difficult times. Thank you to our program sponsors, guests, and partners. Thank you to our donors. You all help us continue our mission as we prepare to hopefully transition soon into a live performance situation. Meanwhile, stay tuned because in addition to perhaps more of these planned live stream concert experiences, we will be continuing the Mondays with Mooch series on a semi-weekly basis. Our next date is April 19th. This time we have special guest, jazz bassist and vocalist, Nikki Parrott. If you've never been in love and you're longing for the happiness it brings, try your wings. If you're hungry for the sound of a lover saying sentimental things try your wings and let's not forget to save the date april 30th in the evening for our international jazz day celebration another live stream event we're planning now visit our website for more information and announcements and make sure you're on our mailing list so that we can keep you informed about upcoming events and now, back to the show. So I hope you enjoyed that little segment about Mondays with Mooch. So join us on April 19th. Uh, I had to convince Joe to show us that, that intro because I love that intro. The animation takes me back to my grade school years. I appreciate that. Um, so I just want to let you know real quickly about some upcoming events that we're doing for a Jazz Appreciation Month. Uh, April 17th, uh, I will actually be uh, doing a show uh, called DJ S Presents A Jazz Affair. And I'm going to be co-hosting that uh, on Zoom with Leslie Harrison. Leslie Harrison, of course, is a jazz 
as vocalist, and she also uh, DJs uh, uh, on uh, WBGO, and she's also co-founder of the Jazz Gallery. She's going to be my co-host on April 17th, which is Saturday, starting at 6 p.m. You can go to our website, and you can register for that. And then on April 30th, we're pre uh, presenting another great concert. Uh, Joe's got a lot of magic stuff going on in the work, so that'll be happening on April 30th, which is Friday at 7 p.m. So again, go to our website and register for that. International Jazz Day, thank you. It is International Jazz Day, which is, of course, uh, Herbie Hancock. He's, uh, he's the uh, chair of International Jazz Day. So we're going to take it away with some, uh, I think, uh, more music. Yes, here we go. Don Braden, quartet.
This has been a really great program for these kids. A lot of them come in with zero experience and it's an opportunity they wouldn't get if the Jazz Arts Project wasn't here. What I'm focusing on is pretty much just the fundamentals of music. Pitch, melody, harmony, ensemble. It's just so exciting to see them get an instrument in their hands. Sometimes it's the first time, and when they finally get a note out, sometimes they have to work really hard just to get that first note. So when they accomplish that, and to see the look on their face, I, I get a lot of joy out of it. They come in, and in the course of a couple weeks, we take kids from ground zero to where they're putting on a concert, where the parents come and they appreciate it, and everybody recognizes the music. And you could just see on their faces that the kids are having a great time, and they're learning. I really enjoy seeing my daughter, how she improved in these two weeks. Uh, she started playing with the drums. She learned a lot. She's super happy, and we're really happy. I remember when I was little and I used to come to band camp and I used to always be like, wow, they're so good at this. There was this one girl, they used to always play the flute and I used to always look at her and be like, I want to play that instrument. And I started playing and now I'm really good at it. I think for parents, it's giving your children that opportunity to do something that is so, so valuable for them. Developmentally, emotionally, so many things that are so great when they play a musical instrument. So we hope you enjoyed that video about our middle school summer camp. As you can see, we do a lot of education programming, teaching the next generation uh, and the young generation about jazz music and teaching them how to play and to appreciate and love music. So I hope you all enjoyed yourself at home this afternoon. It's been a rainy day here uh, in Jersey, so this is a great way to spend it. I hope you got some wine and maybe a nice little cozy person to spend it with. Uh, what we want to do is say thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us for at this event and as you know this event was free uh, it's free for people at home but uh, it does take resources to support us so I'm going to just let you know that you can always give to us uh, at jazzartsproject.org slash give uh, this is jazz appreciation month so please share it with your friends and come back and visit us on April 30th at 7 p.m. which is Friday we have another great event for you in store so thank you to all who support us thank you for all our contributors thank you thank you thank you and thank you to everyone who put this sh uh, show together tonight. Thank you to the quartet. Thank you to Don. Thank you to Dr. Denise. Thank you to Jason, Ben, our board. We had so many supporters putting this together. So we just want to say thank you and appreciate that. Um, we're going to let the band take us out. Have a great night and enjoy Jazz Appreciation Month.